I've completed the repairs and cleanup of this 35 horsepower Evinrude lower unit and purchased replacement parts and now I'm ready to put it all back together. I'm very grateful to Danger Marine who put together a series of excellent videos on this. What I'm going to do is show you something a little different. There's a $70 tool that's specialized that goes on this propeller shaft that holds the spring and ball in that hole so that it can be inserted into the clutch dog without the balls and spring flying out. Being a frugal guy that I am, I didn't want to spend $70, so I built one for next to nothing, and here's the video that shows you how I did it. Okay, so inside this lower unit, first it's going to have this pinion with the thrust washers and the bearing in there. Then I'm going to put this roller bearing in. I'm going to slide this forward gear underneath the pinion like this. And this clutch dog and cradle and shift selecting, shift, shift selecting lever are going to be like this. And they all come together kind of like this. Now if I didn't have to worry about the ball and spring in there, it would be relatively easy to assemble this. So what I'm going to do is use toilet paper roll. I've cut this toilet paper roll in half and I'm going to slide it on here and I'm going to use these two pieces of, of aluminum to hold the ball in there under spring tension. And down here, tape it down here too. Here's the finished tool. Tried to make these six inch aluminum pieces about as even as I could. You got the toilet paper roll inside and it duct taped together. And it just slides on to the propeller shaft. Now to load the spring and ball, I did a lot of trial and error and found this is the best way. So get it loaded on one side first and start to turn it. It's easier said than done. Start to turn it. Let's try this side first. Start to turn it. Then on the other side, push the ball in while rotating slightly. Okay, now it's in. The two balls are there. They're springing out a tiny bit. That should be okay. Now to test this outside of the gear case, Put the forward gear and then put the clutch dog in front of it. If you don't do this, you'll have them shooting across the room. Make sure you line this up so that the, the balls are even with the little detents inside there. And simply push this in so it's partially in now on both sides with the clutch dog in this position it's barely holding the balls in there because this is the forward gear position but if we pull it back now it's in neutral when I go to put all these parts inside the lower unit I'm going to orient this forward gear so that the teeth on this clutch dog are sitting on those high parts. And then when I go to put the propeller shaft in, when I push on it, 
it's locked in neutral instead of locked in the forward position. One thing I wanted to note in some segments of this video, I've got the clutch dog backwards. This groove actually goes towards the forward gear so that what's, when it's in the engaged position, it's, it's driving lubrication between the pinion and the forward gear. I have the bearing, the forward gear, and the pinion in place with the forward gear positioned so those little ears will hold the clutch dog in neutral. I have the shift lever, clutch dog cradle, and clutch dog positioned. And I tested it with the bare propeller shaft to make sure it's all lined up. Go ahead and line up the tool. Lining up the splines on the propeller shaft and the clutch dog. I'm going to hold the tool in place while pushing down. That's it. Well, this project has taken me a long time, but the lower unit's all back together. I tested forward and reverse, and they both seem to work, and installed a new water pump. Time to put this back on the outboard and test it out. Stay tuned for some deleted scenes bloopers that are pretty funny. Okay, so I'm holding the holding the lower ball in there and the upper ball. I'm going to compress them. Try not to shoot them across the room. Oh, lost one. This is what you get for trying to save seventy dollars and build your own tool. It's pretty funny, huh? One day we'll get it. Okay, trying to come straight at it didn't work, so I'm going to push this down and I'm going to rotate. <laughs> it's kind of hard. It's under a lot of tension. Why does it keep shooting across the room? <laughs> okay, the two balls are held in by the aluminum. Now I'm going to see if we can get this through. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. I hope I can find that. 